Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. It's so sunny. <laughs> So I wanted to share with you guys our dining room even though it's a little messy right now This is just real life But um, yeah, I just wanted to share it with you. I know I showed it in a shorts video I also showed it out over on my Instagram so you can go check that out and if you follow me on there You've already seen it, but um, just thought I would share it here on the vlog also, I have footage from when we were putting everything together and stuff. So, yeah, I guess that I would share. So, anyways, here it is. So, this is our dining room now. So, yeah, we got everything new except for the chairs. I am holding off on getting new chairs until that, that one over there, that one, doesn't wipe his hands on the chairs anymore because these chairs... They get dirty sometimes so anyways yeah i really have been enjoying this whole setup um i do want to say um if you decide to get this um table i want to say that it is not sealed uh tom has applied like some type of oil like butcher's block something um i'll link it in the description box but he applied it on our table just so um, if we do spill something on it, it will prevent it from staining um, or it won't stain as much, I guess you would say. But yeah, that's just something that I, I feel like you should know. Um, this table is not sealed. It's like really this nice farmhouse -y table. I love it. Like we actually really like it. Um, we've had it for a few weeks now since the week before Mother's Day and yeah no issues whatsoever um we just use placemats you know just in case of spills and whatnot and so far so good crossing my fingers i didn't just jinx it um but yeah i've been really enjoying it so i'm gonna go ahead and like insert the footage from the past um you know of us like putting the table together and stuff like that and hopefully you guys enjoy it Hi guys, it is finally happening. Our new dining table is here. Been wanting one for forever. Um, but finally bought one. So Tom's actually bringing it in. Look at him being so handy. <laughs> but saying goodbye to this table. We're gonna, I think, sell it at the consignment store. And then I also got a new rug, so I'm gonna go and get that. And got new wall art to put here.
Wow, this is pretty for the ah! baby box. Wow. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Feel it! What the heck? 30 bucks, Dad. It was on the Wayfair clearance. Oh, I love it! Wow, that's like a sweater. It's like, you know those chenille sweaters? That's what it feels like. Whoa. Oh yeah. He's <laughs> swimming in it. Oh my gosh, I'm about to reposition it again. But yeah, okay, be careful. Oh my goodness. Funny. Careful though, I don't want you to fall. Don't trip, okay? Ooh, I like that color. Is it real wood? It seems to be. Good. I want it real wood. Oh, I like it. I'm glad it's not too open. It's just whitewashed, Dad, right? It's not coming off. Pretty, pretty. The carpet itself. Ta da! I love it. We'll get cha new chairs eventually, but we still have a little boy who likes to wipe his hands on the cushions, so we're not gonna do that yet. <laughs> so, we're gonna stick with the same chairs for a few more years until he doesn't wipe his hands on the cushions and mark his like, see, little spots all over. All over. He likes the rug a lot. It's really soft. I wish you guys could feel it. Liam, come on, get out of there. Silly. 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 <laughs>
here are the new curtains that I ordered. This is actually the same one that I got for when we redid my bedroom at my parents' house. And I really, really liked it. And I also have not the same exact one, but pretty much the same in our living room right now. So yeah, I really like this kind of curtain. Um, it's just like linen, but I got obviously two sets. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and replace these guys. I got those um, from TJ Maxx. When we first moved, so they all have this pattern. I was really into this pattern back in the day, and I'm just, you know, kind of over it. I mean, we've had these curtains for six years, so I'm going to try and attempt to take them down later and switch out the curtains. I'm not quite sure how to do that. Um, yeah, we'll figure it out. to show you guys but here's the color of it it looks so much lighter in here it's weird oh my god i love them yeah i love these curtains so much and they're so soft there's still like creases in them but it'll fall in like a few days so it's fine i'm not even gonna bother steaming it or whatever but here's our dining room with all the new things I love it. Here, maybe this view will be better. Ah, it's so cute. So much better. So happy. So I will link everything um, in the description box like usual. And yeah, oh my gosh, I'm tired. I hurt my foot too with the ladder. So I'm kind of out of breath and my foot hurts. Okay, bye for now, guys. Hi, guys. We just got home from Target. I picked up some manga. Manga. <laughs> and then um, we got two of these and we're going to open them with you guys. Open you guys. Okay. Please, I forget. This way. So this is the series two. Let's see what we got. Ooh. Yeah, I was surprised they had some at Target because usually they're always all out. Hold on, maybe. Oh, I have to cut it, okay? Okay, let's. Which one you want to open first? That one. This one. Okay, ready? Ready. I hope we get some good ones. Garbage. Okay. Ready? Ready. <gasps> we got Jack! Jack, Jack, Jack. Jack from Halloween! Jack from Halloween. <gasps> Gwen? Yeah, yeah. A little penguin? Yeah, penguin. <gasps> Cookie! She's so cute. I like her. This is a good one so far. Cookie. Okay. Flip is a cute little monkey. Look, 
monkey. A Keithen, a Keith. bird. Not a fan of that one. And Rocket. It's a girl. Look, a girl gorilla named Rocket. Wow. I'm excited we got Jack and um, Cookie. Okay, this one. Be careful, okay, baby? All right, let's see what we got. Ugh, shrunk. Yeah. <laughs> and the creepy one right there, Liam. You were pointing at him at the store. I've never seen him before. That's a NPC too. Oh, I've never seen that one before. Felicity, a cute little cat. Oh, she's pretty. <laughs> we got Rodney, a hamster, looking kind of sad. Rodney. Grow, Groucho, Groucho, a grumpy little bear. He's not that ugly. Like, he's kind of cute. We got one of my favorites, Bo. Oh. Remember it was his birthday the other day? Remember we're playing? Oh my god, I got Bo. Oh my god. Okay. And Vic. Oh my god. Gimme, give gimme. Give this is mommy's favorite. We got Bo, my baby. Oh my gosh! Be careful, baby. Yeah. So that is what we got for the Animal Crossing Amiibo Card Series 2. I need a bow! We got a bow! I need a Alright, we gotta organize it, baby. You can't have it like that, okay? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! And then, um, like I said earlier, I got some manga. I already have watch Toilet Bound um, Hanako-kun um, on Hulu I believe they have series 1 so you can watch it there I think it's still there but I don't think they have any plans in continuing the anime so I actually have um, volume 8 and 9 in my collection already I haven't read it yet but I will because it's like, what's it called? Series 1 ended on Volume 7, I believe, in the manga. That's why I got Volume 8 and 9 to kind of like continue it. Um, but anyways, I saw at Target they had Toilet Bound and it's 20% off, which is pretty awesome. So instead of... $13, these were $10.40, I want to say. Um, so I just picked up volume 10, 11, 12, and 13. I believe that is all that they have at the moment that are out right now. So I'm really excited. I'm going to be um, reading these. I still have, before I continue with this, I want to finish off Beast of Abigail. And also, Promise Neverland, I just have a few more to read of that one. So, yeah, once I have those done, I will read the Toilet Bound Hanako Kun. This is a very, very good series. I highly recommend it. It's a little dark because it is about, I believe, seven, is it seven spirits, spirits of wonder or something like that. Um, but it's, it's a really good anime slash manga highly recommend it um but i just want to show you guys the covers because they are so beautiful that's another reason why i love this manga so much is the artwork is beautiful so this is volume 10 look at that beautiful cover and then the back so yeah the ones at target have this thing which i definitely i'm gonna try and get it off later on um but yeah, kind of a bummer they put stickers on manga, like, no, you're ruining the cover. Um, anyways, I also got number 11 here, or volume 11. That's the cover. 
And then we have volume 12. Look how cute she is. Oh, I love them two together. Such beautiful covers. And this one is probably my favorite cover just because they're both so pretty. This is volume 13. So yeah, I'm very excited to have these in my collection. Um, I haven't bought a manga in, I want to say, a month or so. Um, it's been a while, so I'm really <laughs> excited. My Target had these. Um, they also had um, Attack and the Titan, which I definitely don't want to even collect. That's a lot. They had One Piece. They had Volume 1 of Sailor Moon. They had Dragon Ball Z. They also had Death Note and the short stories, which I I kind of want to get. Um, I've already finished like the whole anime series of Death Note. Um, but this is, like I said, it's a short story. So I'm kind of intrigued on what that is. So I might pick that up next time. Um, they also have Promise Neverland. And I think some other stuff that I didn't really care about. Like they had a few of the Demon Slayer, but... That's also another thing I don't want to get into because I just know those are like a lot of volumes. Um, but anyways, that is it for now. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I need to go and like do work and edit videos and all of that. So I will check in with you guys later. Bye. Hi guys. Um, I had this urge to just kind of like we organized our cabinets here with all our plates and stuff honestly I always do this like every year I go through it and usually there's like you know like this but then by the end of the year things get added and then it just looks crazy so anyways I've taken a lot out that we don't use at all I know there's like missing spots and that's because there's stuff in the dishwasher right now um, but yeah these are honestly our most used plates and bowls um, yeah and so um, instead of having them stacked all like this you know like the plates I decided to get these organizers on Amazon I think it was I want to say $16 for two of them, which isn't bad at all. Um, and then I got this as well because this is what I had before and it's like rather long, takes up a lot of space. So it would be like right here and then I can just like have little plates here. Um, but I, I feel like this kind of saves it some room. Um, but anyways, yeah, um, getting rid of this, I mean, I'm probably gonna use it elsewhere but yeah um anyways this and that was $16 as well I believe for a set of two so yeah I only ended up using one though um but I really love how this looks you can see everything things are easier to grab they're not like all gonna be stacked on top of each other so yeah really like that um <laughs> I'm getting rid of all of this so these are all, I don't even know where this came from. We've had this for years. And I have other plates similar to this that I'm actually keeping. Um, it's up in the pantry area with all of our serving things. For some reason I have these and I just, we never use them even when we have, you know, parties and stuff. We just don't use it. So I'm going to get rid of it. Getting rid of these guys too. We just... Never really used it. Also, it's a pain in the butt to wash because water gets in there, in that hole. And even after like drying it out and everything, there's still water that gets stuck in there and then it just leaks all over the place. I hate it. So yeah, I have those two that I'm getting rid of. They're way done. These are our Corel place we've had since college. Corel is a really, really, really good plate um, brand, I guess you would say. They don't break. I love them. Again, we've had these for years, but I just don't really like the style of them, you know. Um, and then these really thick ones, those are already done. They're so heavy. I hate them so much. I got them, we probably used it once, and then realized, wow, they're really heavy. Heat that so much. And then when you heat it up, it gets really hot. Um in the microwave which I'm not a fan of so yeah getting rid of those this too and then these I've had since I don't even know how long but um 
yeah, I've never really used them. Just decor, same with these. So getting rid of that, getting rid of these as well. So yeah, not a whole lot because I actually got rid of some last year. Again, I do this almost every single year. I go through my stuff. I believe last year I got rid of all of like the square shape ones because those were like so on trend back in the day and I had a ton of them. Got rid of those and now I'm just getting rid of these. And um, let me show you up here. In this cabinet, I keep the rest. So I have one two three sets of actual like salad plates and dinner plates and those are good for like i don't know like christmas or like thanksgiving special events i guess if i ever want to set up our table i have those they're more kind of like decorative and i really love those sets i do have some big square plates down there that i'm keeping it's just good for when we have parties and then these they're like iridescent. I got them, I think, last year. Love and hate them. Don't really reach for them. For now, I'll keep it, but maybe next year I'll get rid of it. And then up here, I love these. These are all of like my plastic plates for outside. So whenever we eat outside, I grab these. And yeah, they're just plastic plates. Love them. So that's what's in there. That's actually where all of this was. Uh, I just hide them. But anyways, I'm really happy with how this turned out. Yay, I will link everything below, like all the organizers that I got. Okay, hi guys. I think I mentioned it in, probably not a video. I know I mentioned it in one of the comments of my videos that I think my stabilization on this camera is off. And it was, it was, I knew it, I knew it. Um, I think I fixed it. Crossing my fingers, I did it correctly. Um, yeah, so hopefully from now on, whenever I move, it's not gonna like be so dizzy-ish, you know, for you guys. And for me, like I'm, whenever I'm like re-watching my videos or editing, I'm like, whoa, so dizzy. Um, anyways, yeah, hopefully this fixes it. I'm so sorry if, you know, you've been dizzy in my past few vlogs. Um, but yeah, we're just sitting here. I'm tired. Um, after doing all that over there, I'm just tired. I have yet to put the stuff away that I'm getting rid of. I need to get a box. And my armpit's sweaty. I feel like I have a sweat mark. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> Scary. He's looking at my manga, but yeah, I'm tired. Okay, anyways, I'm just gonna sit here for a while and then, um, go get a box put all that stuff in. There's so much stuff. I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> so that is it for this video. I don't even know what's all in this vlog. I, like usual, just smush things together. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. I am actually going to go ahead and edit this vlog and also another video for friday i don't know if you guys noticed but i have been uploading monday wednesdays and fridays recently um so three videos a week and i always try to kind of upload it around 5 p.m 6 p.m so like the end of the day just so i can sit down and relax and actually chat with you guys because i've realized whenever i would do it in the morning i have to pause everything that i'm doing and you know during the day or in the morning is usually when i'm doing work like i'm either working on the shop um or working on videos and content um so it's just easier to upload and then do the whole premiere and chat thing towards the end of the day when I'm pretty much done doing work and I can just sit down and relax and chat with you guys and stuff. So I hope that's okay with you guys. Let me know your thoughts on my uploads. Um, yeah, um, again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for being here. Um, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And if you haven't yet, subscribe and hit the notification bell because I know YouTube can be really weird sometimes and all of that. Ooh, dishes are done. Um, I, speaking of that, I need to do laundry. I keep forgetting that I'm doing laundry. Oh my goodness. I still have like three loads 
maybe four to do i don't know anyways all right bye guys thank you for being here and i will see y'all soon on friday